Hey guys, Jiggity Jack here, and this is gonna be another Sparrow Flying video. Nothing serious, just a live com of me getting to the fucking rock. There's no fucking story about this, it's just legit a fucking rock that's floating in the sky that does nothing but sits there and does nothing. Oh, that make no fucking sense. So, not too long ago in a video that I saw from Amphibious Gaming is actually me looking at my videos and getting ideas and actually trying to do the Sparrow Flights that I actually do as well. Do go check him out, he's got like 20k subscribers, it's a pretty big poof. So he, in one of his recent videos, he actually said that he's like, trying to do what I do with Sparrow Flies. And so, yeah, why the fuck not? Let's give him some more Sparrow Flies to do. And so this is another Sparrow Fly for you, mate. And for anyone else, I guess. Alright, so all you have to do for this, uh, to get into this area is to load up the, um, Paradox mission and start just doing what you normally do with the Paradox mission. So what you want to do is go down to the Vex Templar area and then proceed to, um, clear all the enemies out. You don't want to bring the Sparrow down there though, it just makes things a whole lot more difficult. And it takes a lot longer. I mean, if you really want to, you can bring your Sparrow down here, but it's really not recommended. Because it just makes things a whole lot more difficult, and it takes, again, it takes a lot longer. Like, it must probably 5 to 10 minutes longer each time we're trying to get down here. This is how you also have to join the clan to actually get out of the boulder glass. You just gotta get your Sparrow down here. Easiest way for me to do it is just by getting down here in the first place and then clearing all the enemies out. And then once you've cleared all the enemies out, you just quickly go back and, and spawn your Sparrow. Boom. They're gonna spawn now. Now we clear the ads. Also, if you want to actually do this glitch, I rec highly recommend doing it on a blade dance. And what the fuck is this kind of doing? Down from there. Serious? What's a blade dance? Yeah, I highly recommend doing this on a blade dance if you're doing this solo. If anything, no. If you're doing this with other people, I mean, I, that would help you a lot. But doing it solo, definitely going as a blade dance. Would Helps yep, I think that was the last enemy. Yep, that was the last enemy. And after that, you just gotta climb out of the vault of glass. As a hunter, I just take this simple path from year one. Fuck. Yep, very simple. Just jump up here, then you proceed to jump up here. Just in case anyone's wondering, I have increased jump height and bones of mayo on as well. Because without those, you won't actually be able to get that high. And just keep jumping up. We get up here. Cross over to here. And once you're up there, you can just jump back over here. And then proceed to climb back up, which is really easy. You've got to find the right edges to actually jump on. Just follow the same path I do. Also, while this is fast forwarded, would you guys just prefer to see the sparrow fly or would you like to see how to do it? Please leave your feedback in the comment section below. Yeah, so once you're back up here, you don't actually have to go back up to the very entrance area. You can actually just spawn your sparrow right here. As soon as you get into this loading zone, which is right now. The Trial of Kabir. Once you get into that area, you can actually just spawn your sparrow and then proceed to go back down. Some people think you actually have to go all the way back up to like the entrance area. Even I thought that you had to go back up there. But that is incorrect. You can just... Spawn your sparrow where that uh, chest is when you actually do the vault of glass normally. And to actually get down into the Gorgon maze, if you want to actually get down here with the sparrow, you just gotta slowly take your time. You can just fall down and hope for the best, but honestly, I don't feel comfortable doing that because there's a high chance that your sparrow will actually get destroyed. But when you're down here, you just want to quickly get rid of these snipers because they will fuck your shit up. I think there's four or five snipers, but you only need to kill like three of them, if anything. No. That. After you've dealt with those snipers, you're good to go now. Go here. Need to go invisible. And then go straight past this guy. They won't even shoot at you. It's awesome. Make sure you don't actually damage him. Because if he teleports, he'll teleport right here. And if you let him teleport here, he'll destroy your sparrow as soon as you become an uninvisible. Plus, there will be an invisible minotaur right there. So that's why you don't want to damage him at all. Just want to get past him as soon as possible. But yeah, that, that's how you get into the area that I'm going to. This is how you get to the very bottom 
of the boulder glass area. And now, now for the actual sparrow fly. So the the rock isn't like here; it's more down there. I will start flying actually. All right, where's this rock? That rock there. That look at that fucking rock. It's so fucking random. Just in the middle of nowhere. And so we're gonna sparrow fly to it, cause why the fuck not? Just for anyone that's wondering why the hell I'm doing this, it's actually a really easy sparrow fly, but I don't think I've actually seen any other videos on YouTube of people actually sparrow flying or just getting up on top of this rock in general. Hmm. Easy. No, but honestly, that's not the only reason I came down here. There's a lot of other reasons for sparrow flying down here. I mean, look at how fucking open this area is. And you can actually see this wall. Look at this wall. It's a fucking beautiful wall. I just want to make sure you don't hit the sky barrier because you will lose a lot of height. Even if you do hit the sky barrier, the chances are you'll, you're guaranteed to be able to recover. Because see that portal like right there? You can fall below that. You can fall pretty low and you still won't hit the death barrier. It's kind of crazy how far you can actually fall down. Which is awesome for this sparrow flying area. And, plot, and again, the sky barrier is in such a massive area. This is definitely one of my favourite areas to practice infinity flying. If I wanted to practice for any reason. Look at this. Just such an open area. Oh, I just hit the sky barrier there. Alright, easy done. Yeah, actually, I'll just go show you guys. You can't actually get into the fighting area where you actually fight Atheon. You can see the door, but it's still closed. I'm pretty sure some people are trying to find out how to get into it in patrol mode, which is kind of fucking retarded since this, is, this game's been out for like over two years now. But see, the door is closed, so you won't actually be able to enter in. So, pretty much all the barriers in this area have been removed, except the low death barrier and the sky barrier above us and also there's a wall barrier all the way down there actually i'll go show you guys that as well so this place is a pretty fucking awesome area to sparrow fly in don't get me wrong but like the only problem with it it's difficult to know where the sky barrier is that is my only problem with this area it's pretty difficult to predict where this sky barrier is because it's such an open area it's like uh sparrow flying where the two pyramids are i'll link a put a link in the top right hand corner of the screen right now if you want to actually go see that, which is fucking awesome. I love those pyramids. I'll go back there again sometime. But pretty much, um, it's similar to that. You fly up, you expect to be able to fly extremely high because of the fact that there's like no death barriers in this general area. And then you're going to proceed to hit the most randomest sky barrier. And for this example over here, the wall barrier is in a really weird position. Okay, now watch this. It's going to be a wall barrier like right here, I'm pretty sure. Where is it? There it is. See how I just randomly started moving the opposite direction? That was the wall barrier there. Yeah, I'll show you again. This time I'll speed fly into it. There it is again. So sadly you can't go like beyond this area. It's still a cool area to explore though, in my opinion. Being able to explore this much of an area you know, without like anything interfering with you is awesome. And with like no death barriers except like below you and a sky barrier which is like a hundred meters above the death barrier it's fucking awesome and you can even go over here though which is pretty cool as well i'm pretty sure i can actually move that way pretty sure you can get on this uh, i'm not sure actually okay well it doesn't look like there's a death barrier wait hmm that's weird there's a wall barrier here though what the fuck oh that's cool let's get up where's that rock let's go sparrow flying up there also, please leave a comment on which sparrow you'd like me to sparrow fly with next, because I've I'm actually collecting all the fucking sparrows right now. I'm buying all the last year SRL ones, and I'm pretty sure I've got all the, the sparrows from this year's Sparrow Racing League. So if you guys want me to use a specific sparrow in the next video, I can take that feedback and I'll use that sparrow most probably. Pretty much they're all exactly the same with with like how you use them in flying stuff. Where's the rock though? 
There it is. Let's end this video now, actually. If you guys enjoy these kind of videos, please leave it a like and subscribe for more content. Again, please leave a comment on what sparrow you would like me to use in the next episode. Again. Oh shit, I sc uh, fuck! I did the outro too early! No! <laughs> oh shit! Oh! There we go. <laughs> yeah, so this was pretty much what the point of the video was. Getting up to this fucking rock. Because why the fuck not? Rocks are OP. But anyway, if you guys enjoy these kind of videos, please leave it a like and subscribe for more content. And also, please tell me which sparrow you'd like me to use in the next episode. Again, thank you all for watching.